What inspired you to become a CPA? Well, it really may have been somewhat of a foregone conclusion. Uh, growing up in my house, both of my parents were CPAs, and in fact, my mother at age 81 is still practicing on her own. Uh, so, got a lot of influence from my folks. Uh, that and the fact that uh, when I was in high school in the 11th grade, back then they at least gave you these aptitude tests. And the conclusion of my aptitude test is, was that they thought that accounting would be a good field for me. So the combination of those things kind of led me into public accounting, even though the fact that my, my parents were CPAs and I never saw them from January to April 15th during tax season, you might have thought I would have selected something else, but uh, really that's what inspired me to move in that direction. Why tax and not audit? You know, uh, that was part of uh, my upbringing as well. I did get a chance to work with my folks, my father primarily, uh, after I was in high school or during high school for summer work. And uh, I did some bookkeeping and accounting work and I also got some exposure to tax work. So in doing that, I really felt like I took uh, much more of a liking to and an understanding of looking at the tax code and regulations versus that of the audit side. And so a um, little bit more difficult back then, almost uh, 30 years ago, to try to go into tax. The firms back then actually required, most firms required that you do a couple years of audit and then switch to tax if they would let you. So there were only a couple firms of the larger firms out there that would allow a direct entry into tax. And fortunately, I was able to secure a position. And from the time I graduated college, and, and got my first job. It actually was in the, in the area of tax and, and that's kind of how I've spent my last 30 years of practice. So how did your company get started? Um, well, I spent a, a few years at a large local firm actually working with Phil Holthouse. Uh, we worked together. We actually then both left and went to a local firm and uh, spent a number of years there where I had become a partner and Phil was a partner as well. Uh, and at one point, uh, the three of us got together, Phil Holthouse, John Van Trite, and myself, and we decided that if we were really going to have a firm that was ours and we are going to be able to do what we want and practice in the capacity that we wanted, we would have to kind of break off from, from the firm that we were with, and that's what we did. So just about 20 years ago, uh, we started this firm. Uh, a little bit of a humble beginning. We had the three of us and five other people in what was a small space, but uh, managed to uh, grow it up uh, and in a wide and diverse areas, uh, both tax, audits, business management, uh, mergers and acquisitions, and a number of different fields. So from, a, like I said, humble beginnings of eight or so people, we've been able to grow the firm up to uh, six offices and 265 people. What is the primary source of your business or clientele? Um, you know, over the course of years, uh, having, uh, let me back up, I grew up in Los Angeles, uh, born and raised here. And so I went to grammar school, junior high, high school, college. And so having been born and raised here, I have a large network of people that I've known uh, from all of those experiences. So that's been a great resource for me. In addition, having started the firm and grown it up the way I explained before, uh, you kind of get a network of business contacts as well as the primary source, primary the existing clients that we've got. When you do a good job for clients, they appreciate the work that you do. Uh, they have a tendency certainly to refer other, other opportunities to you. And so all of those factors uh, have really contributed to my ability to continue to grow my practice and to help also foster other work for other members of the firm, which has allowed our firm to continue to grow.